Today, me and Tuck are going to share with you five clever tools that will save you space, save you time, and will greatly increase your harvests. Let's go! Growing vertically might be the gardening method that takes your harvest to the next level. I grow so many different kinds of crops vertically, like tomatoes, cucumbers, grapes, and so many more. When it comes to growing vertically, the right tool for the right job makes all the difference. And this tool right here proves that. This is a roller hook. It has a UV resistant polypropylene twine on a spool with a quick release mechanism. So you press this button right here and it releases more string. You might be thinking, what's the point of the spool? Why not just use a string? But the spool actually serves a super important function. When you're growing indeterminate tomatoes up a single stem, they can get super tall. I've had some tomatoes grow well over 10 feet tall and getting up there to work on them or harvest some of the tomatoes is almost impossible without a ladder. But this tool changes all that and it works perfect for trellis and cucumbers as well. With a tool like this, you can grow cucumbers or tomatoes up a trellis like you see here. Once the plants reach the top of the trellis, you could hit the quick release mechanism. It will release more twine and allow you to drop the plants down. This is known as lowering and leaning. Since tomatoes are vines, they take well to this approach. Instead of growing straight up, they lean, which drastically reduces their height, making it safer and easier to both work on your tomatoes and grab harvest from them, because you can do it from the ground. This works great with both tomatoes and cucumbers. This next tool is simple, incredibly convenient, and time-saving. Right here is a tomato clip, also known as a garden clip, I use it to help tie up both my tomatoes and my cucumbers. In the past, I've used old cut up shirts, twine, all different methods for tying tomatoes, but this one is by far the best and easiest. Let me show you how easy it is to use. Just take your clip, take the back side of it and push it into the string. This will lock it in as it closes. Then just close your clip together and it'll lock in when it snaps just like that. I did it with just one hand. The back of it, when it locks into the string, it'll prevent the clip from sliding up and down the string. And if you want to, you could easily unclip it. Just press that, the clip in on that side and you could unclip it and then take it back and even reclip it if you need to. Also, they work great when growing other vining crops like cucumbers. It helps you direct the cucumbers to grow exactly where you want them to grow. One of the most important tools in any successful garden is a good watchdog. This guy works hard, He's always watching the garden, keeps out all the pests and all the predators. He also supervises, makes sure everyone's doing exactly what they're supposed to be doing, and he's the brains behind the whole garden. Right, boy? Not to mention the heart and soul. If you love seeing Tuck in the videos, make sure you spam some hearts down low. This guy's soaking up the sun, overseeing, making sure everything's okay. So we love having the little boss in the garden, always working hard with us. And uh, yeah, we don't know what we'd do without this guy. Right, boyo? Another tool that will take your garden to the next level are these amazing trellises. Look how nice it looks as well. They connect right into the side of the raised bed, which is super convenient. They're strong and sturdy. They're tall and they're super easy to assemble. This whole thing came together quickly and it's something anyone can put together on their own. I love how the wall trellis just wraps around the corner of the bed. I think that it looks so cool. And it also provides more vertical space for me to grow up. Another thing is over here, we have these rust proof, sturdy plastic connectors that connect right into the side of the bed. Then this pole right here, the vertical pole slides into those connectors. This makes it super easy to assemble and also disassemble if needed. And it keeps the metal off the ground. Here is my favorite trellis, the arched trellis. It fits between two raised beds. It's a beautiful functional addition to the garden. It allows us to grow more food in less space. Instead of this being an area where we just walk through, we can grow vining crops overhead just like this. These trellises don't work with all metal raised beds. So if you want to grab one, it has to pair with the raised beds that I use, the Vago raised beds, which in my opinion are the highest quality, best metal raised beds out there. There's one thing though, if you do want to get an arch trellis, these can actually attach into the ground with an anchor. So if you don't have a raised bed, like a metal one, there's an option to be able to use the arch trellis. But the wall trellis, you need to have one of these raised beds in order to use it. 
The next tool is a game changer for people who have limited space or grow a patio garden. Right here, we have a vertical planter. Let's hop inside the greenhouse and take a look. Check out how well all the plants are growing in these tower gardens. I love them so much. Look at the beauty of the Swiss chard. Look at that color, it's insane. Some of the flowers up here. Look how well the lettuce is growing. All the crops over here, more lettuce. We've got some celery even growing in here. Yakina Savoy. So many different kinds of crops, it's amazing. These tower gardens come in two different versions. Right here is the seven tier version. It has 42 of these planting pockets that are seven inches deep. The other option over here is the five tier tower garden. This one has 30 planting pockets that are 10 inches deep. The planting pockets are also staggered to allow the plants to get good access to light. Another thing I love about these vertical planters is a lot of the add-ons that you can get with them. One of them that's cool is the spinner at the bottom, which allows you to rotate this whole thing super easily. It just spins like this. This way, all the plants can get good access to light if you're in a greenhouse like me. I think it just looks really awesome how well the plants grow. And there's some other really cool add-ons too, like an insect cover that you can put over top of this. Uh, row cover to help keep the frost off and there's also the ability to add a trellis which is really cool super easy to assemble too everything kind of just snaps on that snaps on like that then we could take this it snaps on just like this and then this connects just like this and you can make a trellis to go around the whole thing to be able to trellis up some tomatoes like you see down here, which is really cool. Some people have asked me and have worried about like, is this thing gonna blow over in the wind? Well, I can't see that happening, uh, not at all, because these are all just separate uh, like containers and they're filled with soil. So when they're filled with soil and they're all stacked on top of each other, that gets relatively heavy. Another thing is if you come closer in here, you notice when you drop them in, they all kind of snap in together so when they all snap it together, it makes it like all one big unit and it makes it super strong. Soon the chamomile will start to flower up here. We'll be able to have a beautiful plant, get some tea from it. And I think I even have some tomatoes in the back that are, look at that, already starting to produce fruit. Some of the orange hat tomatoes, look at that. Looks pretty good. The fifth tool that will take your garden to new heights isn't one that will literally allow you to grow vertically, but in my opinion, it has the highest potential power to increase your harvests. I'm talking about some garden books that are packed with knowledge. I heard someone say that the quote, knowledge is power. It's not sufficient to leave it at that, but applied knowledge is power. Gaining some knowledge from gardening books and applying that into your garden might be one of the key things that increases your overall harvests. Some of my favorite gardening books out there are one, the Square Foot Gardening Book. Uh, it's just such an incredible book. It makes gardening simple, it makes it more fun, and it has increased my harvest more than anything else. Uh, my harvests have never been better since I've read it. The second book I suggest you grab is a companion book. My favorite one is Carrots Love Tomatoes. This one, will, this one will open up your understanding to companion planting. It's important and it will kind of show you how some crops like growing together and they grow really well and they help each other grow better while there's some other crops that don't like growing together and they can actually hinder growth. So it's a great book to reference whenever planting anything into the garden. The third set of books that I suggest you check out are written by Hugh Richards. He has a YouTube channel. He's written some incredible books packed with so much knowledge and they're just something that are great to digest and you gotta grab some. He's also releasing a new book this spring, The Self-Sufficiency Garden. So I suggest you grab one and uh, just learn from him. He's a wealth of knowledge. So you gotta check out some of those books. Me and Tuck had a lot of fun out here. He's over here working hard still. This guy never quits. Yeah, he loves being out here. He loves working hard. So make sure you spam some hearts down low for the little boss. We hope we gave you some ideas and we hope that some of these tools, you could use them in the garden. And we're just trying to equip you with the best tools, the most knowledge, to be able to get the most out of your garden. Whether you have a small patio garden, that doesn't matter, or you have a massive property, we want everyone to grow as much as they possibly can.
that's today's video growers thanks for watching we hope you enjoyed it we hope you got something out of it me and tuck wanted to send a thank you to one of our new channel members not quitting uh, thanks for having your hand in everything we're doing out here and we think your name is just so awesome and we think a video like this was a great one to choose you as a channel member not quitting because we encourage all you out there to never quit if it's your first year you start a garden and it doesn't grow perfectly that's okay it's not about the first year you have to think about gardening with a perennial mindset where it's not just about this year it's about the future years and knowledge compounds in the garden and your harvest will compound also we had a blast we hope you guys got some true value out of this video and we couldn't be happier that we've got some plants in the ground the sun is out spring is here it's april it doesn't get better than this. Tuck and James will be back at you again real soon. We out.